Hi fellow travelers and your travel angel is back. In this video, we're gonna go back to Washington DC. So we're gonna drive two and a half hours from Philadelphia to DC. We've been actually planning this trip for months now and it's finally happening. See you there. Now we're here in Washington DC and I actually made a list of the places that we're gonna visit here. This is just a list. I mean, I'm not sure which locations we'll be able to visit. So we'll see uh, how things would go. And now we're driving to our hotel and we're kind of hoping that we can check in three hours early because it's only 12 and our check-in is at 3 p.m. So oh, we'll also see if we can do that. All right, see you there. And we're right outside our hotel and it is actually right next to the Friendship Archway. We're staying here in Chinatown, but it looks like we're gonna have to go to a parking garage because the hotel doesn't have one, but they do have a partnership with a parking garage on 6th Street. So that's where we're gonna go. And welcome to our room. It's just a small room. It's really tiny, but it's all good. I mean, we just need a place to sleep and shower. And we actually used our points to book our, our stay here for two nights. So we're just gonna freshen up a bit, then we'll head out and start our adventure. So I guess right now we're gonna go and have lunch um our favorite ramen place here hopefully it's open did you check it's still closed uh too bad they open at five so i guess that's our dinner for tonight and then uh, we'll figure out where to get some uh lunch so i guess see ya all right so we got some food from Da Hong Bao Chinese restaurant. So we're here at the United States National Arboretum. So you can eat here. You can only do that at the picnic area. And so that's where we are. And there's actually a view of uh, the columns. It's pretty nice here. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and very relaxing. And now we're gonna eat. So right now we're gonna check out the Bonsai and Beijing Museum. Let's go and check it out. Come on. The National Bonsai and Penjing Museum is a really cool place to check out. It is one of the most popular spots here at the National Arboretum. Fun fact, bonsai is a Japanese word which means tree in a pot or container. Bonsai are trees or plants that are grown in a container to create miniaturized trees that imitate the shape or style of full-size trees. The diverse collection of bonsai they have here is incredible. It's fascinating to imagine that these bonsai were trained to look like these. And by the way, the Arboretum is a true hidden gem here in DC. I mean, you wouldn't be able to discover it unless you actually Google for things to do in Washington, D.C. Well, now you can definitely take advantage of this information. So these are the columns that I was telling you about at the picnic area, and it's called the National Capital Columns. I think it's a Corinthian, if I'm not mistaken. So um, a Corinthian column has an ornate and elaborate style, and I believe there are 22 columns there. And then it's located right here on an open area or open meadow, which is called Ellipse Meadow. So let's go and check it out. Come on, follow me. The National Capitol Columns is definitely another must-see spot here at the Arboretum. Now, a quick history about these columns. They were originally built in 1828 as part of the Capitol building, but was later removed in 1958 because it was believed that the columns were not enough or it was too fragile to support the dome. Then, these columns were placed here in the 1980s. Also, the total number of columns back then was 24. But the two columns were damaged, which is why only 22 are displayed here at the summit of Mount Hamilton. So the building behind me is the National Archives building, which is located on Pennsylvania Avenue. And the most important historical documents in the United States are inside that building. 
so we'll see if we can't well we can't go inside anymore because it's already five but I don't know if they're open right now but we're gonna check out the building so let's go and of course, I'm talking about the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, which were both originally signed in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The National Archives just reopened and they are offering reserved time entry tickets. Also, photography is not allowed inside because historical documents are fragile and can fade when exposed to light. So during your visit, expect that the exhibit will be dark and have little light inside. Well, the one behind me is actually not a building, but a monument, and it's the Washington Monument, built in honor of George Washington, who was the first president of the United States. Check out how massive the monument is. The Washington Monument is built in the shape of an Egyptian obelisk. It is a 555-foot monument, which can be seen all over D.C. And this is actually the first time that we got to go inside around this area. And the last time we were here, there were tall fences around the monument. And now it's so nice to actually see it up close. And to be able to see the monument at night is also breathtaking. don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get new video updates. So we're actually here at the National World War II Memorial which is dedicated to the Americans who served in the armed forces and civilians as well during World War II. Let's check it out! It's such a beautiful tribute and will always remind me of my grandfather who was a veteran back home. The walk from the Washington Monument to the Lincoln Memorial is endless. It's gonna take forever, so make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes if you're gonna be, you know, touring the historical sites around the city. All right, just an FYI. So now we're gonna check out the Lincoln Memorial and it's one of those stops that you have to make. And the best way to truly appreciate this impressive monument is to see it with your own eyes. So let's take a look. Guys, we made it finally and I just gotta sit down because I feel so tired and my legs and feet hurt so much right now. So we're just gonna enjoy this moment, relax, enjoy the view right across the Lincoln Memorial is of course the Washington Monument. You have the reflecting pool. It's just the view here is pretty amazing. All right, so now let's check out the Lincoln Memorial, there's um, a sculpture, a huge sculpture of Abraham Lincoln. Of course, it was built in honor of him and he was the 16th president of the United States. All right, so now let's go inside. There he is. We're inside the Lincoln Memorial and that's Abraham Lincoln's statue. Honestly, I can visit and see this memorial multiple times and still be impressed. Inside, you'll see Abraham Lincoln's famous speeches etched into the wall. To the left of the statue is the Gettysburg Address, and to the right is the second inaugural address, which he gave in March of 1865, a few months before Lincoln's death. There's also a reflecting pool in front of the memorial, which gives an impressive view of the Washington Monument. And that's the White House, and we'll definitely check it out tomorrow. But for now, we're gonna get some ramen. Yay, and we made it back to the hotel. <laughs> now it's time to eat. It's actually already nine o'clock. It took us forever to get home because the walk from the Lincoln Memorial to the ramen place. We decided to ride the, uh, a scooter to help us, and it kind of did. <laughs> So now we're home and now it's time to eat. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. It's yummy. It's savory. And just perfect. 
If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below. And also like and share this video and consider subscribing and hit the bell to get new video updates. Let's connect on social media. That's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, mypurplepages.com. Remember, continue to spread positivity and I'll see you next time. And here's what's next on the vlog. So we're here at the wharf and we're stopping by Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. And now we're checking out the FDR Memorial. You know, this is actually one of my favorite buildings here in Washington, D.C. We're right outside Ford's Theater. So it's time to start our adventure. Let's go.